Welcome to my lecture online. Now here are a couple more examples of how to employ the same techniques that we learned in the previous couple of videos. So here we're trying to find again the, the value for x and uh, based upon what we have here, now notice x is the value, the measure of the angle from A to C or the arc length I should say from A to C. Alright, we use the same rule. We can say that the measure of the angle P, so the measure of the angle P is equal to one half the measure of the arc length from B to D minus the measure of the arc length from A to C. And it's actually the measure from A to C that we're trying to find. All right, let's plug in and see what we have. So the measure of angle P is given, that's 36 degrees. That must be one half times the measure from B to D, which is given as 88 degrees, minus the measure from A to C. So we can simply replace that by X degrees, because that's what we're looking for. X degrees is the measure for the arc length from A to C. So now we multiply both sides by 2, so we get 72 degrees is equal to 88 degrees minus x degrees. Moving the 88 across, we get 72 degrees minus 88 degrees equals minus x degrees. So this is minus 16 degrees is equal to minus x degrees, or x degrees equals 16 degrees. So in this case, x equals 16. In the second example, hmm, what can we do? Well, we can go ahead and use this angle right here. And so we can say that this is the measure of the angle A. And since it's on the edge of the, on the edge of the circle, what we can then say, we can say that the measure for the angle A is equal to one half the measure of the arc length made by the end points of these two lines right here where it crosses the circle on the other side. So that would be the measure of the arc length from B to C. And that happens to be given. So now we can say that therefore the measure of the angle A is equal to one half times 140 degrees, which is equal to 70 degrees, but then, of course, we're not looking for the measure of the angle A. We're looking for x degrees, and so these two are what we call supplementary angles. So therefore, we can say that the measure of angle A plus x degrees must equal 180 degrees, which means that x degrees equals 180 degrees minus the measure of angle A, which of course now we know to be 70 degrees, so that's 180 degrees minus 70 degrees, which is 110 degrees. So that's the value for x. In the second example here, x equals 110, and that is how it's done.